Wait, there was no way this guy was still in high school. Hi, Oddings. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your at the Sapphire. The following story is inspired by a personal experience, a real-life ghost story, and a 90s urban legend from the Philippines. And now, it's story time. School was finally out, and the weekend had officially begun. As Sophia was at her locker packing her backpack, Brie came up to her and asked if she wanted to watch a movie. Sophia was a little taken aback. She had been feeling a bit distant from Brie lately. All she would talk about lately was her new boyfriend, Felix. Sophia hadn't met him yet, and she was already so annoyed with their relationship. Sophia was hopeful that this would be the one-on-one girl time that they needed to reconnect. Brie pulled up to the mall down the street. Wait, why are we here? The theater here is so sketch. This whole mall is sketch. Haven't you heard about those missing girls? Sophia, chill. That's just an urban legend. They headed inside and straight for the somewhat run-down ticket booth. A man got up from a nearby bench and started walking towards the girls. Sophia grabbed Bree's arm and nudged her out of the man's path, but Bree threw her arms open. Baby! She embraced him. Sophia stared at the man. Wait, this was Felix? He looked a lot older than Bree described him. There was no way this guy was still in high school. Oh, what a surprise, Felix said as he held his hand out. Right back at ya, Sophia replied, ignoring his outstretched hand. Sophia pulled Brie aside. I thought it was just going to be us. I am so, so sorry. He texted me last minute that he was in the area, and you know how far away he lives. Please don't hate me. Also, don't tell my mom she doesn't know about him. You're the best. Felix pulled Brie over to a nearby bench, and they began making out. Considering Brie was her ride home, Sophia had no choice but to be the third wheel on this improvised date. She figured she could just do her best to ignore them during the movie. She checked the time. We better get going if we're going to catch this movie, guys. Guys? Hello? Eventually, Felix came up for air. He pulled out his wallet and handed Sophia some cash. Here, why don't you get our tickets? On me. We're just going to catch up a bit over here. Sophia rolled her eyes and headed for the ticket booth. After purchasing the tickets, she turned around and they were gone. She should have known. She called and texted Bree, but she wasn't answering. Sophia looked at the tickets in her hand. She could just go watch the movie herself and catch up with them after, but she didn't trust this mall. Or that man. Sophia figured she should find Brie. They couldn't have gone far, she thought to herself. She sprinted down the mall, peering into every store to catch a glimpse of them, but nothing. Then she heard a familiar laugh. About five stores ahead, Felix was pulling Brie into a small boutique clothing store. Sophia picked up speed. When she reached the entrance, she saw Felix and Bree step into the dressing room and close the door. Sophia pushed past the racks of clothes to the back of the store. Hey guys, the movie's gonna start soon, so we better get going. No response. Sophia kept knocking, and knocking, and knocking. And then, the door swung open. The stall was empty. Gobsmacked, Sophia stepped inside. She examined the mirror, the wall. She was positive she saw them go in. The store wasn't that big. There was nowhere else for them to go. The stall door closed behind her. A click sounded beneath her feet. And then she was thrust into total darkness down a chute, falling with no sign of how far or how long. Her screams bounced around her. She landed painfully on a pile of clothes and bones. Standing a few feet away from her was Felix facing into the darkness, the sound of wet crunching nearby. He turned to Sophia. Oh, what a surprise, he exclaimed. Where the hell is Bree? Sophia shouted. Felix turned back toward the darkness. The crunching sounds ceased. I brought another one for you, master. 
From the shadows emerged a massive serpentine creature. The snake man. It's real? In the Philippines in the 1990s, an actress named Alice Dixon was said to enter a dressing room at the Robinson Mall. A trapdoor opened beneath her, which led her to the basement where a supposed snake man lived. She managed to escape, but was paid by the owners of the mall to never reveal exactly what happened. For the next 30 years, Alice was haunted by this story. It's all anyone wanted to ask her about. Then, in the last few years, she attempted to set the record straight. While filming a scene at that mall, she was changing in a restroom and jokingly shouted, Tuklao, Tuklao, which means snake bite in Tagalog. There already had been rumors about a snake monster underneath the mall. So when she shouted this, people ran with it and there was no going back. The urban legend was born. It didn't matter that it was not real. However, I recently interviewed horror director Jed Shepard on my podcast. He shared a story about how his mom and sister were at a mall in the Philippines waiting to use a dressing room. They realized that the woman they saw go in had been in there for quite a while. They peeked underneath and didn't see any feet. So they called the clerk over who opened the door and no one was there. So who did they see go into the dressing room? Is it possible? that there's some truth to the urban legend of the snake man. If you don't want to be consumed by a ravenous hybrid creature, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Submit your own stories to storieswithsapphire at gmail.com. For more spooky, supernatural, and spiritual stories, listen to the Stories with Sapphire podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like what you saw and would like to support this independently run show, head over to patreon.com slash storieswithsapphire to learn more. Until we meet again, sleep tight. <laughs>